I'm Carrie. I'm a NASM certified personal trainer and a precision nutrition level one coach. And I'm here with workout one, 1.1 for the Public Run Club. This is just an activated warm up to add to your week. Ideally, I'd like to see you doing this twice, um, but even if you get it in once this week, um, it would really be a great addition to your running. Um, it won't be long. We'll keep these about 10 to 15 minutes in length. And again, know that you're doing such a good thing for your body. Um, we're gonna work on some, we're gonna do a little foam rolling, focus on some balance training and core stability work, and, um, and then do some multi-planar movement so that um, we're not just all staying in the running sagittal plane, but we can do some lateral movements and some transverse movements and, and add that to our running to prevent injury and make us more efficient, faster runners. Okay, so all you need for this workout really is almost nothing. Ideally, I would like you to have a foam roller. Um, Any one is fine. I'll probably use this one, but if you're really tight or all you have is a lighter, a lighter, softer one, that's just fine. Um, I would if you want to, you can have a set of dumbbells. No big deal though. If you don't, you don't need them. It's just for one exercise in this video. A yoga mat can kind of be helpful, but again, you can use beach towel or nothing. And then the one thing that you're going to need for one exercise later on is a uh, place to step up, whether that's a stool, a bench, um, a chair, a set of stairs, anything to step up on between, you know, six and 18 inches tall would be great. Okay, awesome. Well, let's get started. This week we're going to um, roll out our quads. So what I'll have you do is come to all fours and I want you to start just above your knee with your foam roller. And you're going to come down on your forearms and then slowly push back until you get to a place where you're like, yeah, that's tender. For me, it does, it's pretty easy to find a tender place. I run a lot, so I have them. And if you run a lot, you will have them too. Um, but whatever you do, my guess is that your quads could do some rolling out. So we're just holding that for a full 30 seconds. There's kind of two philosophies on foam rolling. Um, some people like to move around a lot and do a lot of rolling, um, but in the kind of the um, what I follow with my, my training background, I like to really sit on that muscle for a full 30 seconds um, and allow that fascia to release. Um, it uses a process called reciprocal inhibition to help the muscle actually get that release. So, okay, awesome. We're going to switch sides again. You're going to start right above the knee, come down to your forearms, gently push back. And while you're holding this, I want you to be thinking about your navel, bringing that to your spine. You're still breathing, but your core is engaged. You're not just like, ugh, like slumped here. You're, you're active and your core is, is working. Awesome. And let's just breathe through that. It might be uncomfortable. Just breathe. Oh, breathe into that. Doing great. And we're just holding for a few more seconds here. And then today we're going to pair that quad foam rolling with um, a hip flexor stretch just to focus on that area. So I want you to go ahead and come on up and uh, come to a position like this, one foot forward, one foot back. Again, thinking about your core here, I'm not like, Ugh, you know, I'm, my core is drawn in, my navel is drawn to my spine, I'm breathing, and my foot back here is flexed. So already I'm feeling a stretch in that left quad and in those hip flexors. Now. I'm going to turn forward. If you're ready, go ahead and put your arm up and you can even look up at your hand if you would like and just feel that stretch. Oh yeah, that feels so good. So I'm feeling that for sure. If you're feeling like I'm not feeling that, you can even raise your foot up on a block or something if you're like super flexible, but my guess is for most of us, this is a sufficient stretch. Awesome, keep holding. Oh, great, and then go ahead and come on out of that. Go ahead and switch your legs. Again, activating that right glute, so you're already should be feeling a stretch in your right quad, a gentle stretch. Navel to spine, like you're zipping up a jacket, you're bracing that core, and then when you're ready, you can bring that right arm up, and you can even look up at that right hand. And again, we're going to hold for a full 30 seconds here to really let the muscle relax. Awesome. 
awesome. And then go ahead and come on out of that. Okay, great. So next up, we're gonna do a little bit of core work. One philosophy that I have in training is your core should have a job all the time, whether that's unloading groceries or whatever you're doing, your core should be at work. Um, so we're gonna start with an exercise called cannonball. We might have a little visitor. And I'm going to have you bring your navel to your spine. So zipping up. And then when you're ready, you can bring your feet up and they should be pointed straight up at the air. So toes shouldn't fall out or fall in, but just be pointed straight up at the air and neutral. Then you're going to take your palms and drive them through your thighs. And when you're ready, we're all gonna come up. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we're holding this. Your core is active in this position. It's very hard to compensate with a different muscle group here. So good, just breathe. Hold this. Yeah, honey. Okay. <laughs> you can go get a game or something if you want. All right, really good work. And then when you're ready, in two, one. Okay, relax, bring those knees to your chest. <sighs> Really nice job. Okay, and then we're gonna come back up and we are going to cross our arms this time and hold. Feet are pointed up in neutral, breathing here and feeling your whole core working. Really good and relaxed. Awesome, we have one more of those 30 second holds and then we'll move on to the next exercise. Oh, big breath, everybody. <laughs> All right, last time we're gonna go back to, our, um, arms will just be in neutral, not crossed. Okay, one, two, three. Really good, we're on the last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, give those knees a hug, awesome. Okay, next up we're going to do an exercise called dead bug. <laughs> Might remind you of a dead bug. So you're gonna have arms up, legs up, feet are in neutral, pointed straight up, and then opposite leg, opposite arm will go out, ready? And we're doing eight on each side. Feeble to spine. So tiny. doing an exercise called single leg balance reach. So one really common compensation a lot of people have is some slight foot turnout. You'll see this all the time. You see the more pronounced like, you know, someone has to go and get uh, more support for their foot turnout, but you also see just like a very slight foot turnout, especially with pe people's right foot often because it's a driving foot. And so they're using it to brake or press the fuel or whatever. Um, so notice it, open your eyes, and when you're out walking, be like, oh, hmm, interesting, foot turnout, slight foot turnout. Um, noticing is the first step to changing if this is a compensation that you deal with. So if you look down and you're like, oh man, when I do squats, I'm like in this position, it's like, oh, I'm gonna turn back to neutral um, so that I'm in uh, kinetic alignment. So, okay, so this is a great exercise for dealing with foot turnouts. We're going, and also building core stability with balance. So, have both your feet pointed forward. Zip up that core, good. <laughs> and on one foot, we are going to come out, hold three, and then come back in, okay? And my foot here 
again, is an alignment. So I'm not going into an external hip rotation. I'm keeping that hip in neutral. My foot is pointed forward. All right, so we're on three, two, three, three, and four, two, three. Be careful, Sol. Oh, dear Sol, no. <laughs> and five, two, three. Good, and we're going all the way to eight. If you need to touch down in between like this, that's just fine. You do what you need to do. Right now, we're build, building that balance and that core stability which is so fundamental to any work we do with weights or load um, or power, plyometrics, anything like that. We really need that core stability first. All right, awesome. Okay, go ahead and switch sides. And you might find that you have an ankle or a foot that is like a lot easier to do this on where you have more strength and balance. And that's fine. That's just your body giving you data. All right, two, two, Three, navel to spine, self check. Nice work. Four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three. Right. Next up, we will do a little bit of plyometrics. I'm just going to move my yoga mat out of the way. So we're going to do a squat jump. Now, I don't want you to just go crazy and do 15 squat jumps or something. Um, there's time for that and space for that. But right now, we're just going to do eight squat jumps. And what I want you to do is do them perfectly. And for me, that means that your feet are pointed forward. Your knees are over your ankles in alignment. Your navel is zipped up to your spine. All right, so ready? Like that. And then I'm gonna hold, look down, straighten my feet, and go back up. I'm going to take three to five seconds to straighten my feet every time so that I'm landing perfectly. So if you're landing like this, just pull your feet back in. That's great. Here's number four. When you can do these perfectly, then you're ready to do them really fast. If your landing looks like this, you're not ready. You could get injured. So first we work on alignment, and then later we add that strength and power. Last two. Not right now, but after this you can, okay? And last one. No, <laughs> not right now. Great, and go ahead and come up out of that. Okay. Next up, we're gonna do a forward lunge into a balance. So lunge, balance, good. And we're doing that eight on each side. So I'm starting on my left side. I'll show you from laterally. Sorry, I messed that, I messed that one up when I turned. Here we go though, that's number four. <laughs> and think about keeping that, that balance as like a three second total. One, two, three. And when you're in that, you're really doing a fundamental move of running. So that's why my leg was so active. My knee's at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to switch sides now. And my foot one. is pointed straight forward again, keeping it in neutral. These are the building blocks to being an efficient, injury-free runner, which is what we want for you. A fast runner. <laughs> um, Job soul, thank you. Four. Good, two more. Seven. Eight. <laughs> All right, well, we've got the four-year-old helping us count today. 
Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, great. Then we just have two exercises left. The next one, we're going to do a step up and balance. Now this is one where if you want to add dumbbells, you sure can, and that's, that's great. So I'll show you one, one side with and one side without. Um, maybe start without just so, just so you uh, get your bearings <laughs> and do it well. And then if you want to add weights, that's fine. All right, so we're just going to go forward. Again, I wanted everything in alignment, so make sure that step isn't, you're not turning out your foot, but your foot's in neutral, straight forward. And then I'm stepping up and I'm holding and then I'm going back down. Okay, so I'll do eight on that side. One, two, thank you. Again, three, four. <laughs> And these next, this next month will build on these so that we're um, kind of, we'll be advancing each week. Seven. Eight. Yay. All right, and second one. Nine. Oh, do you want to start at eight again? Nine. I'll show you with the dumbbells, actually. All right, so all I would do if I want to hold dumbbells Eight. is just hold dumbbells. And that'll just, you know, it'll make it a little more challenging um, for balance, but it's a great addition if you're, if you want to add something. Seven. These are 10 pound dumbbells. Um, fives or sevens work great for this. Threes, you know, if you're like, oh, I'm doing great, add tens or twenties if you have a lot of foundation already. But if you're kind of new to resistance training, just start small and do it perfectly. That's, that's um, or try to do it really well, I should say, it's not to be perfect, but form over, you know, weight number or rec number. 17, I think we have two more. <laughs> I don't think we're on 17. Okay, last one. Nice. <laughs> One more in that time. Oh, thank you. I think that was it. Okay, for our last exercise in this little set, we are going to just do um, a little bit of speed, agility, and quickness work. So today, we'll do a side shuffle just to get in some of that lateral motion to help balance out our bodies so we're not just doing forward motion all the time with running, biking, um, walking, even sitting, we're kind of using the same muscles, so that's we want to break that up. So we're just going to do a side shuffle. So I'll just do it the length of the phone. You do it, whatever. We're going to go on for 30 seconds. All right. I'm going to have you come on down. Feet are pointed straight ahead, so self-check those feet. And go. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm filming a video. Yeah, I haven't done one recently. Yeah, good work. Stay low. You're almost there. And one more. And come on now. Awesome. Really good work, everyone.